Hey everybody, welcome back to Yoga with Liz. For most of you that know me um, or have been watching my videos, you know that I'm an avid athlete, weightlifter, I love CrossFit, I love my yoga, I also like running. So there's really not much activity um, involving you know, physical activity that I don't like. So, except unless it's like in the cold. I don't like the cold. Um, other than that, I like it all. Um, but today what I want to talk to you about is not about what I like. It's about stretching your legs. So, for many of you, like myself, you have really tight hamstrings. Maybe you have um, just tight legs and you don't even know why they get that tight. But if you're like me and you have larger legs, then you need to stretch those babies because those are some seriously big muscles. Those are the legs and your back and your shoulders are major muscle groups. So the legs need to be stretched, okay? Um, you gotta balance everything that you're doing with stretching, okay? So if you're running, you gotta give yourself a big, deep stretch. If you're weightlifting, you need stretching, hello. Um, people always say, I'm, I'm not flexible. Well, duh, no kidding, you're not flexible. You're tight, your muscles are all locked up because you're not stretching them. Doesn't that make sense that we should stretch? Uh, all right, so box over. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna stretch our legs. What I want you to do is grab a strap. This can be a belt, it can be any sort of strap, but it's basically to bridge the gap between your feet and your hands. Some of you might not need a strap, but most of us will. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come on down to our back and we're gonna lay all the way down. All right, so just take a moment, elongate your spine, hug your knees into your chest, and then grab your strap. What we're going to do is we're going to take our feet all the way up into the strap. When you do this, I want you to place the strap on the pad of the foot, not in the arch of the foot. So press the heels away from you and pull your toes down towards your nose. Okay, take a couple of deep breaths here. Keep pulling that strap towards you and sending those heels up towards the sky. So I want you to stay stable here. Notice that I'm not wobbling all over the place. I'm just nice and stable, pressing my heels to the sky and trying to draw the toes down towards my nose, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna release that left foot from the strap and place that foot on the floor. We're gonna take our hand and grab the with the left hand, grab the strap up near the foot and take your right hand out to the side. I want you to take that, le that left hand as close up towards the foot as you can and then press the right heel away from you. So we're trying to elongate the back side of the right leg and draw the toes towards your nose. Okay, now as you do that, we're going to take an inhalation and try to pull this foot up towards your head. Now, I don't want to see you bending the knees, so keep that leg straight so you're getting a nice stretch right at the insertion of the muscle up near your glutes and also down towards your knee. Take a big breath in and exhale, pull that leg once again, nice and steady up towards your head. Okay, good. Now relax a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to take that left leg and straighten it up. With the left leg, I want you to keep that leg stable and grounded. So that leg is helping you to stay stable. So flex that left foot, the leg that is on the ground. Flex the foot and press the left knee, back of the, the knee, into towards the floor. All right, now as you do that, we're going to pull once again on this right leg and draw the leg up and over towards our left shoulder. So as you can see, my leg did not move very far. It went from here up to there. It's not a big movement. It's a very deep stretch though. So we're getting a nice stretch on the outside of the leg all the way up into the glutes, all the way 
way down into the side of my leg. So keep breathing and keep sending that heel away from you. All right, now as we're here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hand and slide it down the strap. I'm going to take my left elbow to the floor and I'm going to start to guide my right leg across the body. As I do that, I'm going to look to the right hand and very slowly continue pulling that foot up and over towards that left shoulder. Now as you can see, I am not taking my leg all the way to the floor. I am simply taking it across the body, very steady, and I'm breathing. That is so important here. Do not forget to breathe. Good. Keep sending that heel away from you and take a big breath in. And now I want you to bring that leg back up to the sky and go ahead and draw both legs into your chest. And now take that left leg up into the strap. Take the right leg out of the strap and just ready, steady, and press that left heel to the sky. What we're going to do is grab the strap with the right hand and take the left hand out to the side. Now with this right leg, I'm going to just walk that foot down a little bit. And I'm going to pull this left leg up towards my head. Just a couple of deep breaths here. This is step number one, just pulling this leg up towards my head. Step number two, we're going to straighten that right leg and ground down through that right foot. Keep that leg steady. That leg here is helping me stay steady and grounded, okay? So continuing now with step number two, we're going to take our hand up towards the foot and we're just going to pull this leg up and over towards that right shoulder blade. So it's a very small movement. The leg goes from here up to here, all right? So you're stretching the outside of the left leg now. Breathe deep. This is not an easy stretch, so continue with your breath. And now I'm going to take my hand and slide it down the strap. I'm going to guide my leg across the body as I look over towards my left hand. And I'm going to just keep bringing this leg across the body nice and steady. As I press the heel away from me, I keep that leg straight. And I breathe, stretching into the outside of the leg. And now I'm feeling this all the way up into my lower back and all the way down into the toes. <laughs> it's a big, big stretch. So keep breathing. And now inhale, come all the way up. And release both legs into the chest. Take your foot out of the strap. Give yourself a hug. Hug both knees into your chest and relax. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just take the feet flat to the floor and relax our back, relax the spine. Take a couple of breaths here. Notice how your legs feel. Maybe wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes before you come up to a seated position. And when you're ready to get up, just roll over to the side. And on an inhale, come on up to a comfortable seated position. So that's all I have for you today. I hope that this helps you get a nice deep stretch in those legs. And I know it's going to feel wonderful for you when you're all done with it. It's, it's tough during, but it is so worth it. And I hope that you do this stretch after every run, after every CrossFit session, after every time you weight lift, but make sure to do this afterwards, not before, okay? All right, guys, have a great day, and good luck stretching, and good luck in all of your strength training activities. Have a great day.